Please raise your hand if you use social media. Wow, that's a lot of hands. If you use social media or if you don't, you may think you know the meaning of social media, but you might not really know what effect social media has on children. Hello, I'm Mia, and today I will be talking about social media's effect on children. I chose this topic because I'm a kid that uses social media and I wanted to learn more about it. Social media started in 1997 and has been part of our culture for 22 years. The first social media app was called was called Six Degrees. It enabled users to upload a profile and make friends with other users. There are so many ways to define social media. One way to define it is it is multiple apps and websites that let people communicate quickly and efficiently. Social media is also designed to allow people to share things quickly. When people think of social media, they usually think of posting, profile pages, news, sharing, and communication. But there are so many more things about social media that most people don't know such as the effect it causes on younger generations. Lots of teens and young kids use social media every day. This may not seem like a problem, but there could be serious harmful effects. For example, the daily screen time of an 8 to 18 year old is an average of 5 to 6 hours every day. That's surprising because kids attend school for approximately 6 hours, so they're spending just as much time on social media as they are at school. Another effect social media has is on schoolwork. Schoolwork is very important for a child's education, but kids are looking at social media rather than doing their work. Another effect social media has on daily lives is sleep. The average amount of sleep that kids should get is 8 to 12 hours every night. But when kids are staying up looking at social media, they probably don't want to go to bed, which leads them to be sleep deprived. Another important effect social media has is on physical health. Lots of people think social media does not have physical effects, but that is not the kids. That is not the case. Looking at smartphones and using social media can result in bad posture, including rounded shoulders, neck pain, headaches, and spinal damage. Looking at smartphones and using social media can result in bad brain damage. For kids who use social media more than seven hours a day have a differences in the brain region called the cortex. The cortex is involved in the information processing. Their cortex gets thinner, which hurts their ability to learn and understand information. When kids stay up staring at the blue light in smartphones, they, it can cause eye damage. When kids stay, stay up in bed looking at smartphones, it delays melatonin production and, and could affect the behavior and mood in kids in the next day. Another effect social media has on physical health is carpal tunnel syndrome. Carpal tunnel syndrome affects your hands and causes pain and numbness. It is caused by a pinched nerve in the wrist, and there are more than 3 million cases of this found in the United States a year. Using, using social media can affect the mental health of young kids and teenagers. For example, when kids spend a lot of time looking at edited and photoshopped pictures, it makes kids compare themselves to unrealistic photos and makes women feel as if their bodies are not good enough, which can lead to eating disorders like anorexia. Another effect social media has is on FOMO. FOMO, FOMO is when you see your, FOMO stands for the fear of missing out. It, 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 kids experience this when they see their friends hanging out with other people. Finally, when, ki when, kids, when kids spend mo more than two hours on social media a day, they have a poor mental health and could have conditions like depression and anxiety. Kids could be in the same room together and rather text than talk face to face, which harms communication. On the other hand, there are, there are some benefits to social media. For example, kids can communicate very quickly, they can share memories and plan events. Through social media, you can also stay in touch with family and friends even if they move away or they're not with you. So we can see that social media has positive and negative effects on children. Positive effects include communication from kids more than ever, express, kids expressing their creativity and helping kids with job skills. However, there are some negatives. Negatives include poor mental health, poor physical health, anxiety, and depression. Overall, is social media really worth it? Please raise your hand if you think it is worth it. Now raise your hand if you don't think it is worth it. That's it for my presentation. I hope you learned a lot about social media's effect on children. And if you want to learn more, scan this QR code or type in this link to visit my blog. Thank you.